In this video I'm going to explain how to create a recording event for 360 spinner equipment. I've been asked this a number of times. So let's start by creating a new event. What we have to do is create a video recording event. And then just work your way through the wizard. So this is the message that will appear on the start screen. You can change that later. Choose the amount of seconds to record. Suggest for 360 recordings that you should probably keep it to maybe eight seconds or less. You can then decide whether you want the video to be played back. I'm going to say yes at this point. I'm not going to let them choose to re-record the video, so I'll say no. And I'm going to use a thank you screen at the end. You can also choose the design of the event itself. I'm not too bothered about it here, but you can choose a background image if you wish, or a background color and so on. You can change the button styles and the icons. You can choose fonts and colors. I'm just going for the defaults here. You can also choose what language you want the event to run in. I'm going to stick with English. Now at this point, you can choose what camera you're going to be using. Most people will be using a GoPro. Uh, you can use a Canon wireless camera, but I'll stick with the GoPro. Uh, just to say this video doesn't explain how to connect the GoPro, there's another video that explains all that, and I'll put that down in the description. Then click continue. Right Booth will now create a basic recording event. So, Right Booth has created the event 56 rbe and it's put it into this folder path now you could obviously save that as a different name let's save it as my 360 and you can see it's changed the name here now we don't see the camera feed at the moment because i've actually got it turned off here i'm just going to turn that on now i've got a webcam attached it's pointing at my gopro now just to say that when you create a recording event for gopros you won't get a live feed from your GoPro. So Rightboob has automatically enabled the webcam here. But you don't need this camera item if you are using a GoPro. You can't get a live feed from the GoPro into Rightboob at the moment. So the best thing to do is just to get rid of this if you're not using a webcam to point at your spinner. So I'm going to delete this. So select the item, press the delete key. Do the same on the other screens. We have a get ready screen. Again, I'm going to delete that. A countdown screen. Again, not necessary, so I'll delete the camera feed. Record video. Same thing, we don't need this. Show video. That's going to play the video. And a thank you screen. So this is the process. Start. I'm just moving these around here. So this event, so the start screen will just hang around waiting for you to uh, click the mouse or touch the screen to start. There will then be a get ready screen that will appear for two seconds it's set to at the moment. That's on the screen properties here. Then there's a countdown screen which will appear for the length of this countdown which is three seconds. Then you get the record video screen for eight seconds. Then Rightbooth shows the video and it will show the video until it's finished playing and then it will move on to the thank you screen and eventually it will go back to the start screen. So that's the process. Now, if you want to change any of this, we can do that quite easily. We go into the designer. Now on the event type, you can see that it's set up to be a video recording event. It's got a minimum recording time of one second and it finishes the recording after eight seconds. If we go into the event structure, you can see that there's a start screen included. We've got a get ready screen. If you don't want the get ready screen, you can just untick that. There's a countdown screen. Again, that's included by default. Again, you can tick or untick that. Let's untick that as well. You've then got show and redo screens. And as you can see, Rightmove is set up to show the video to play it back. 
you might decide that you don't want to show the video because this is just a recording station so you can untick that and we have a thank you screen now again you might not need the thank you screen because you're in charge of the recording station so you could just untick the thank you screen now let's go and have a look at what that's done back into the editor now you can see that all you've got is a start screen and the record video screen now obviously this is set up to say speak now that's not relevant really you could delete that as well so it gets very simple now we've literally got this countdown item on the record video screen so what will happen is that the system will be sat there waiting for you to click the mouse or touch the screen and then when you go to the record video screen right booth will start the gopro recording it will record for eight seconds and then right booth will show the busy screen now this screen will appear while right booth has stopped the recording on the gopro and is transferring the video from the gopro to the computer so this screen will appear for as long as it takes the video to be transferred across the wi-fi to the pc now you might want to add video enhancements to each video that comes from the gopro so to do that go into designer event structure video enhancements turn them on this is where you can apply different effects to the videos that come from the gopro so you could add an intro video browse for it here you could add a background if you've got green backgrounds on your recordings which is probably not the case you could apply an overlay video on top of the recording so maybe confetti or sparkles or something or you could just have an overlay image or both in fact so a static png overlay image if you wish again just browse for the files here you can apply an outro video again choose it here you can add a background audio track which is an mp3 file you can also add video segments now i'm not going to go into great detail on this there's um, a section on the right booth website that describes all this in great detail so i'll put that down in the description but just to say that you can add various segments define how long they are what speed they are whether they reverse what type of effect they are etc so once you've chosen your video enhancements and the files that are used you can then just save this again so right we will apply those video enhancements to every video that's recorded by the system okay let's have a quick look in settings now on the main camera you can see that right booth has set it up for gopro use because that's what we chose in the wizard so let's have a look at gopro now here i have set up to record videos at 1920 by 1080 i'm not cropping them but i could if i wish i could create square videos here just by turning this on and cropping this input to a square for instance i'm not going to crop them Oh, you can see that I've set up a temporary folder for the file transfer. So I've actually created a folder called temp on my drive C. That's where all the videos will appear from the GoPro as a temporary place while right booth processes them. But the, the finished files will end up here in users NRP suit documents, right booth seven events, my 360. Now you can change that path if you wish. I'll create another video about folders let's look in miscellaneous you can choose to resize and reconvert your videos as they are brought in from the GoPro now I'm not going to do that here but you could actually specify a different size a different frame rate a different quality and a different speed now changing all these properties here can affect the time it takes to enhance the video so you might want to consider reducing the files so for instance i could reduce them to 1280 by 720 remember that they're being recorded at 1920 by 1080 i could reduce them to 1280 by 720 which retains the landscape aspect ratio tick resize drop the frame rate maybe to 60 frames per second you might be recording at 120 on the gopro but dropping to 60 makes a big difference to the processing speed 
You could also improve the quality, but that increases the enhancement time. I would suggest maybe dropping the quality to something like 20 and increasing the speed maybe to five or six. That will greatly reduce the time it takes for videos to be processed. So you can play around with these conversion settings and remember that these conversion settings are applied after the video is transferred from the GoPro to the PC. Rightmove will then enhance them and that's where all this takes place. One final thing, if you've got spinner equipment that's connected to a relay board which is connected to the PC then you can get Rightmove to turn the motor on and off as you start the process. Uh, there is another training video on that, but I'll just briefly go over it here. The principle is that on the record video screen, you need to add a show action. And the action is to set relay channels. Now let's just assume that I've got a one channel relay and I want to turn it on. So I'll just put the number one in here, which means that when the record video screen appears, right booth will automatically turn on switch one on the relay board and that will start the motor turning on the spinner. Then on the busy screen you want to turn the motor off. So again you have a show action, set relay channels and set this to zero and that will turn the switch off on the relay board and therefore it will turn off the motor on the spinner. And that's it, a very simple process. Start, record video, busy, back to start. And that is essentially the simplest 360 spinner recording event file. Let's save that. I hope you found that useful.